Okay, this is going to be very brief, but I'm here to talk about the particle theory, and I know that everyone watching this already knows what the particle theory is, so I'm going to make this entertaining for me and for you. Instead of me just explaining the particle theory, I'll try to explain it in under a minute. So without further ado, let's dive in. So, the tiny- the- the- <laughs> the, the tiny? The tiny? Yeah, the tiny. Whoa. The particle theory helps us understand why fluids act the way they do. All matter is made up of particles, such as gases, liquids, and solids. They have empty spaces between them, and if you look at this image, you can see the difference between the different substances. Gas is a perfect representation of my current mental state, liquid is doing whatever it's doing, and solid has all particles in an orderly fashion. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Although the particles of a solid are in constant motion, the forces of attraction are so strong that the particles vibrate very small distances around a central point. I'm I'm definitely not stealing that from the from the slide deck. No, uh, uh, don't cancel me. Also, depending on the temperature, particles move faster or slower. When it's hotter, the particles move faster because they want to appreciate the sun's presence and get so distracted by the sun that they become less attracted to each other. Uh, even though it's just a flashlight. But when it's slower, I mean colder. Uh, uh. But when it's colder, they move slower because they feel sad when they realize the truth about global warming, so they huddle up together and start crying. Uh, I hope this taught you something. Uh, but chances are you were you were you were. I can't even do the end card.